Hi there, I'm Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition, and welcome to our little video series on the fundamentals of fitness. So where to begin, where to begin? Well, I guess a good place would be at the beginning. So let's start out with some Anatomy 101. I don't know why everybody doesn't do this, but over the next few videos I want to go over some very basic anatomy and some very common anatomical terms so that you will know what things are and where they are if you happen to come across them. Now don't go expecting to help your local ER surgeon perform any operations next week, but these next few videos on anatomy will show you the very basics that you need to know. There's something like 206 bones in the human body. So let's take a look at the location of some of the ones that you're most likely to come across in your everyday travels. Here is a very simple sketch of a human skeleton, and I'll keep this simple for a reason. I don't want to confuse you, I want you to remember it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to assume that you already know where your skull or your cranium is, and we're going to move on from there. Let's take a look at your vertebrae and your vertebral column. Your vertebral column consists of 24 articulating vertebrae and 9 other ones that are fused to the coccyx and the sacrum. Aside from providing you with structural support, it also houses and protects your spinal cord, which gives your brain the ability to communicate with the rest of your body. Your spine is divided up into four different sections, the cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacral regions. And from there, let's take a look at your ribs. You have 24 ribs, 12 on each side. The first seven are considered to be true ribs because they attach directly to the sternum. The other five are considered false ribs because they do not directly attach to the sternum. In fact, two ribs, your floating ribs, don't attach to the sternum at all. Next, we'll take a look at your scapula, which is commonly referred to as your shoulder blade. From there, notice your clavicle. And then we're going to jump over to the bone of your arm, which is referred to as your humerus. There are two bones that make up your forearm, one of which is the radius, and the other is called the ulna. The bones of your hands are referred to as the carpals and metacarpals. The largest bone of your pelvis is known as the ilium. The large bone of your thigh is known as the femur. Your kneecap is known as the patella. Your lower leg, like your forearm, is made up of two separate bones. The larger bone, which is the tibia, and the smaller bone on the outside of your leg, which is the fibula. The bones of your feet are the tarsals and the metatarsals. I know that this brief review was very superficial, but it will give you a vague idea of where some of the bones are situated in your body. This has been Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition, and if you like this video, please click below to like or subscribe. And thanks for tuning in.